Building the transmitters for the new Telefiche Aeron network was a major undertaking. The transmitters had to be sighted in areas that gave the best possible picture to the greatest number of people. At Gorey in Wexford, the masts are fabricated by Span Steel Engineering, an Irish registered company whose parent body is in Norway. The first transmitter mast at Kapur in County Wicklow was made completely in Norway. It was erected in 1961. In 1961, they, it was only Kapur was on the air at the start. So it was only available in part of, of uh, the Dublin area and outside close to Dublin. And then over the following couple of years, the other transmitters came on the air and it was black and white, of course. Uh, we had just a, the one television service, which at that, at that particular time, it was uh, unique to have that service. And everybody valued the service, which ran from half past five in the evening to about half past eleven at night. So it was about six hours of broadcasting at the beginning. The mast at Mulliganish on the Cork Kerry border was 500 feet high. But before the mast could be erected, a road had to be built along the side of the mountain. The building of foundations for the transmitters on the top of mountains in difficult weather conditions was a time-consuming process. The installation of the equipment at the transmitter sites was carried out by Telefish Air and Engineers and the manufacturers of the new equipment. The County Sligo transmitter was built on the top of Trusk Moor and at 2100 feet above sea level, the highest peak in the Benbulban range. But the highest transmitter of all was built on the top of Mount Leinster in the Black Stairs Mountains on the Carlow Wexford border. It was just a plain mountain, sheep grazing on it. There was a small goat track at the end, up to some turf banks, and from that end it was just a mountain. Erecting transmitters on the tops of mountains was a very difficult job. So why choose these sites? The range increases the higher you get the transmitter, and of course the cheapest way to get height is to put your transmitters on mountain tops. Since those early days, the number of transmitters increased throughout the country. But as Ireland goes digital, the number of transmitters has reduced. Analog transmission network consists of 176 sites, but the digital transmission network uh, consists of only 64 sites. That's because we have increased the power of a lot of our sites. We've increased the mast heights. For example, uh, our mast in Mullachanish is 220 metres high and it's sending a, a, a wonderful strong signal all over. Uh, Monster. Helen McInerney, RTE News, Waterford.